Hey, this is Steve with HitItLonger.com, and in this video I'm going to show you my top three ways of shallowing the shaft in the downswing so you can crush monster drives right down the middle. So getting the shaft into a shallow position is really a great way right here in the slot to get this about in this position pretty much getting this in line with this forearm from the camera view it's a good way to be able to really sling that club head through and release it strong for the most energy most distance and meanwhile you're able to control the face quite nicely doing it that way when we come down and we're coming this way we're in big trouble already not just for hitting the ball far but also finding the fairway when your club shaft is coming down more vertically like this so let me give you my three ways that um, can help you shallow the shaft in your downswing and I think it's going to help you a lot with your driving first of all my first one when I get to the top of the swing here see my right side in the swing that I teach is in a high position in other words my belt you can see from this angle my belt line is at a tilt right now so my right hip is higher than the left right shoulders higher in the, than the left first thing I'm gonna do is when I shift over my spine tilt is gonna swap so here I'm tilting this way shift over to the lead post here and see now my right side is under so my spine has now gone from here to here and you can see the effect that that's going to have all by itself so there's a good position at the top nice and wide and shift just shift over so you see how the club kind of tended to shallow there point number two is the immediate turn of the torso from the start of the downswing and let's look let's look at why that shallows the shaft here from the top of the swing as i start to now turn my torso see remember i'm not doing anything in these first two tips i'm not doing anything from the shoulder up to the hands at all it's just just passive just sitting there so all you're seeing is the effect on the club because of the actions of the torso and hips so we're going from here as I turn this way immediately not a delay but immediately start rotating the handle of the club now starts to track around me this way and what happens when I that when that I do that as the handle starts going this way see the head then the shaft want to fall in line with the vector that the force is traveling in. It's, it's like an arc or an ellipse, whatever shape you want to describe it as. But as soon as I start turning, you see the, the shaft and the head of the club want to fall in line with the butt end of the stick's direction. My number three tip for shallowing the shaft is here in this segment the humerus bone and it's going to be in the rotator cuff here external rotator cuff when I go back I might have the humerus bone slightly in internally rotated or this way okay so let me let's take a look at that now here slightly internally rotated right here all I'm going to do is, so let's look at that from the side. It would look like this. My arm is in this position. All I'm going to do in transition as I step down onto the other foot is slightly externally rotate it that much. That's it. Just a couple of inches. That would look like this. And ex internally rotated and externally rotated internal external and you see what's happening to the club it's starting to spin in that fashion and shallow here 
all together it would be here and now I'm in a position to really whip that sucker through let me show you from the front angle now here and I'm going to step down on the left heel shift the weight start turning the torso and externally rotating the upper arm at the same time here club is super shallow I can do anything I want with the shot from there so now you've seen the three best ways to shallow the shaft on the downswing let me show show you the primary ways that people mess this up the first way the most common way that people get the shaft too steep they get to the top here and then they try to pull they try to pull the club down with their arms and so now instead of see the grip end should be vectoring around us all of a sudden the vector is now more vertical and you see the club shaft is going to fall in line with it like this and it's going to get more vertical and if we get here halfway down we're in big trouble we're going to have very little power and the shots are going to tend to either duck hook or slice but there's not a lot in between you're going to be tend to be pretty crooked the second way that you can steepen the shaft on the way down or um, some some people call it standing it up would be here and my arms might be relaxed and not pulling but I'm not turning at all see I'm shifting my weight over but I'm keeping my chest towards the camera and away from the driving range so the hands are gonna naturally fall behind me like this and again the shafts gonna is gonna respond by steepening and now we're really in no man's land I I don't know even how I could hit the ball straight from here for any distance at all from from here so it is a a step down and shift over immediate turn of the torso and an external rotation of the right humerus bone puts me in a position that I can just really smash the snot out of the golf ball as hard as I want and yet hit it perfectly straight um, I hope those three tips will work for you. Let me know in the comments section below. Um, check out the links I have in the description box below. They could be very helpful for you. Uh, like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks a lot.